welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey and today I'm recapping my trip in the south of France. So if you saw my previous video where I first arrived in Europe, we were in Germany with my mom and brother and we just are doing this little trip for fun, something we had always talked about doing. This video, I am so excited to share all the details of us in the south of France, everything we've done. We did go to some other areas. We went to Italy for a day, we went to Monaco, we went to Ez, and there's a lot of fun things we are gonna see and cover in this video. I hope it gives you some ideas for visiting the south of France and what to do around the Nice area. And as always, if you have any questions about our trip, leave a comment down below, send me a message over on Instagram, and I'm so happy to help. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the trip. Nice is of course located in the south of France. It's the capital of the Côte d'Azur, I hope I'm saying that right, but it was an area originally founded by the Greeks, with a mix of Italian and French background of course. Many artists spent time here, such as Henri Matisse, one of my personal favorites. The population is around 340,000 people, and yes, the rumors are true, this place is hot, hot, hot. We flew from Munich to Nice late Friday night. Our first night was at a hotel near the airport, then the next morning we went to our hotel spot that was closer to the coast and the old town. It was a pretty small room with just three beds, but the balcony definitely made up for the small space. Once we were settled in, we headed to a free walking tour that we signed up for and began to explore the city. Some highlights from the tour included learning the various history of Nice, trying freshly squeezed juice at the market, and exploring the Old Town area. <laughs> day we hopped on a bus and we're headed to Ez. It's described as a fairy tale town located at the edge of the Alps and the area definitely did not disappoint. The bus was a little bit crowded but that's okay because once we got to Ez we had plenty of space. There were small shops and classic Italian architecture and just impeccable views. <laughs> tickets to the garden which was at the top of the old town area and this is something that you definitely don't want to miss if you go to Ez. It had the best views of the mountainside and also the coast side as well. Ez was the perfect day trip from Nice and I would highly recommend it.
don't have to get that right Please fall back into these thighs We cool down to different skies Take your hand and tell you why I'm the one, yeah, and you know that girl It's enough, babe, to take control of the world Yeah, hope that you know we grabbed yeah, items from the grocery store near the bus stop and then headed down a hiking trail to the beach. This was a very popular trail. There were some people going down with us, but then there were also a decent amount of people coming back up. The people coming back up definitely looked like they were a bit tired out and kind of explained how challenging it was to come back up. I don't know if I'd recommend hiking up the area, but hiking down was a really great time. And again, you had those coastline views the whole way. We did it as both two people in their 20s for my brother and I, and my mom just turned 60. So we were all able to do it fairly easily. Just bring plenty of water and bring a swimsuit to get refreshed at the beach at the end. One thing to note about the beaches are that most of them are very rocky which is actually more painful than you would think. I would definitely wear shoes that you could take in the water and then you'll be okay. Once we finished at the beach, we decided to take a quick trip to Monaco. Be advised to purchase the correct train tickets. We thought our pass was good for the train. It turns out we were wrong. This five minute train ride ended up costing us 50 euros each and it kind of put a bad taste in our mouth for Monaco. Monaco was very beautiful though. It's a gorgeous area, but it honestly made me feel like I was in some sort of utopia. Everything was a bit too perfect and clean and polished. On day three, we were headed to do a quick day trip to Italy. This was something we kind of added in last minute. My mom and I both had never been, so we thought we're so close, why not go? The train was absolutely beautiful, or the train ride was. We were lucky to grab a seat by the window and view the coastline most of the way there. The town we went to was a very small village in Italy. It had the classic Italian charm, beautiful architecture, and for lunch we of course had to go get some pizza by the sea. Then we ended our day back in Nice visiting the old town and having gelato. That wrapped up our trip in the south of France. It was beautiful, it was very warm, and next we're headed to Paris. See you there.